I have finished building the Gen 12 and it is really a nice boat because it's easy to build and the performance is as good as any of my other boats. Actually, it could be even better, slightly. I used the 5 feet by 10 feet coral plist. This time, I'm going to change it to use a 4 feet by 8 feet, 4 millimeter thick coral plist, which most of you can get from the local stores. One of the critical pieces is heat fusion. Without that, I wouldn't recommend you to build such a boat. Therefore, this afternoon, I spent time updating the heat fusion technique. And the result is very good, and I'm going to share in this video. The problem is related to the heat spreading issue during fusion, and I'm going to solve this problem in this demo. I placed the wood piece there, just trying to control the spreading of the heat. I start shooting hot air and watch the surface start to melt. And I apply force so the copper sheet is bending gradually as I press down. And I have to apply even pressure so, so that two sheets will be pressed together without collapsing the edge. If I tape two pieces together, when I pull it, I can feel there's some gaps. But in this case, it's so solid. I, then I try to peel it apart, and I can see they are fused it together, and actually the surface is being torn apart. Let's examine the joint. The top side looks good, because I have a piece of wood protect the surface, so it doesn't cause much damage by heat. But on the back side, because there was no way to control the spreading of the heat, therefore the bottom side is not as good. I'm going to join these two pieces together, and they are all 6mm thick or plus. I have to prevent heat from spreading to this part of the core plus. Therefore I cut a strip of a corrugated paper and tape it onto the core plus. The fusion process is same as being illustrated early in this video. I heat the core plus, both surfaces to the melt, and then press down with even pressure. It would be nice if there's a second version to help you out to press the cultures together. In this case, I stop halfway and then continue with the second half. Sorry, the camera angle isn't that good and you cannot see the melted state of the corpus. I removed the couple and look at the jointed surfaces. And they look pretty good, and the joint the edge is very smooth. And there's only minimal amount of heat being spread. The couple seems to be working well. And I'm happy with this joint. If you like this video, please give me a like. I have good news for you. My friend come up with a new way of fusing corpus together. And it seems to be a lot easier and has more control. I'm going to try it out this afternoon and I'm going to share the result with you. Please stay tuned. Please subscribe to my channel so that you will be informed when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye.